want to do this, guys. They're going to find you, man. You're making a big mistake. You don't know whose money you're taking. Sure I do. Mine. Out of my money. You're gonna keep it safe. You keep your fucking head down. You got it? Okay. Good boy. Let's go. Prom party. Prom. We're gonna go somewhere and talk. Come on. Yeah. Fucking close to you now, so why don't you get the hell out of here? I got friends in there. Oh, come on, guys. Hey. I'll touch y'all a couple bucks if that's all you want. Motherfuckers. Or something? No, nah, kid, I'm good. You mind if I grab one? Sure. Knock yourself out. Where's my money, Chance? 
up there. Just a phone. A fucking phone? Do I look like I need a fucking phone, boy? I want my money. I swear. It was up there, right, right where I left it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, kid. should be no getting the money chance you should have it and you don't fucking have it ah <laughs> oh, oh, damn it i'll give you what from where the fuck is a kid like you going to get that type of cash That liquor in your belly? That's your only friend. Wait. You don't have to. <laughs> you think you could have found it? Who gives a fuck? Let's go! Boss. Yeah. Kind of news you got for me. Well, I think I found your new supplier. Can you meet with her tonight? I got to clean up my house after that neighbor's child came and dirtied it up. And then, uh, how about if I can meet with her tomorrow? I'll arrange that for you. Cool. All right. All right. Stop, motherfucker! On your knees! You have the right to remain silent. Detective Muntz.
Willie. Frank, this guy says he's been looking for you. He's from the city. Mr. Wilson, I'm Detective Muntz. You're not an easy man to find, Mr. Wilson. Sometimes when you can't find a man, it's because he don't want to be found. You here to arrest me? I'm not here to arrest you. I'm afraid the news I have is much worse than that. He used to be a cop. I've heard stories. Real badass, but got the job done. Boss, that kid Chance, he uh, didn't come into work last night. Is that him? Yeah. I'm sorry. No parent should ever outlive their child. How did it happen? Well, they beat him pretty good. Then shot him execution style. Who? We don't have any leads yet. But I'm all over it. Dear Lord, we offer this prayer today on behalf of our loved one, Chance Wilson. Carry him into your kingdom with you. We ask this in Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. God damn it. Frank, I truly am sorry. You know, I must have. Must thought a hundred times what I could have done differently. Make it so he didn't leave Swallow. Nah. He was as strong willed as his daddy. I know about stop him. Excuse me, sir. Hmm? You know, my son Chance? Not long enough. I'm the one who found him. Right. Wilson. My chance is dead. Charlotte. I'm sorry, I just... Sorry. Right. How'd you know my son? I work at a casino. Name a casino? It doesn't happen here. No name. Really? Chance my car's there. Told me when he wasn't sleeping. Playing poker was like his job. I haven't talked to my son Chance in years. I know. Thank you for coming. Hello. I found the kid. I'm at his apartment complex right now. Did some digging. He was, uh, he was killed the other night. What a shame. Look under every rock. Do everything you have to do to find out who did this to that boy. I'm gonna head over to this charity now. What a shame.
What you gonna do? I need to borrow your truck. You know, if uh, Molly Ann was still alive, you wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, I know. But you know them city cops are as well. They never two shits about us. How long has it been since you shot a man, Frank? Been a minute. Well, that uh, duffel bag full of guns you got there, what's that for? What you call them negotiation tactics. Shit. This is Karina, the new supplier I mentioned. Listen, we uh, just got rid of a lifelong supplier. And, um, well, I heard a lot of nice things about your family. My family has been in business for a while. I think you should try us. Well, Volume, how about volume? You got a lot of product? You know what you want. All right, babe. Listen, we're gonna have to talk about Desmond. My son, again. Yeah. Frank? Jesus, you look different. And by different, you mean, uh, like shit? Your son. My son. And Molly? Ma lived with that cancer for seven years. It was her time. It just doesn't seem right. I'm doing this different now, Ashley. I'm doing it the right way. I'm fine now. I did this to my son. I'm gonna watch him get justice served. Of course. You still work on DA? No, I've uh, I've got a private practice now. You still have people in the DA's office? Of course. I'm gonna talk to an old informant, see if I can get some information. Yo, Jinx is in the alley waiting for me. Oh, 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 there's that motherfucker. 
Look who it fucking is. I just got the fuck out of prison, man. Keep playing evidence to me. I did three fucking years. Sorry to hear. What's that, motherfucker? I guess, uh, what I remember was that you sold some dirty drugs to some kids and they all fucking up the dude and died. And the jury didn't convict. It's a free country, motherfucker. Get the ah, fucker! Ah, God damn it! Fucking ankle! <laughs> Get you some fresh sheets. What about that kid's room? One who got killed. What the hell do you want to stay in a murdered kid's room for? He's my son. Damn it, I'm leaving. Hey, you can't stop me this time. Your mother will kill me, Chance. Yeah, well, mine's dead. So she can't not forgive shit anymore. You watch what you talk about your mom, boy. She's always watching over us. Yeah. Is that why you never had to put down the bottle? That city will change you. It will get into your blood like a virus and eat you alive. You want that? At least it'll turn me into something. This. This ain't no life here. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry.
All right, all right, you savages want to hear a joke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good one? Very good, you're gonna like this one. All right, Sadie, she's in the old age home, right? She's got dementia. She wears this little tiny nightie, and she goes around knocking on all the doors of all the guys that live there, and when they open the door, she starts pulling up her nightie going, super pussy, super pussy. She knocks on Herschel's door, right? Herschel answers the door. She starts pulling up her nightie, super pussy, super pussy. Herschel looks at her for a second, and he says, I'll take the soup. <laughs> Super pussy. <laughs> this is good. Lighten up, man. That's actually not bad. Hey, shut up, shut up, shut up. Who is this? Let's try this again. I'm Chance's father. Who is this? Who was it? Nobody. Fucking deal. He got in pretty deep playing cards. He spent money that he didn't have all the time. I wonder where he got it. Chance wouldn't tell me anything about that. I could tell that he was getting worried, though. Whoever it was, they, they started making threats. I saw on Chance's phone some dude, Desmond Packer. Um, I've, I've seen him come in. A couple times. He hangs around sketchy people. You want more than that, dude? He wouldn't tell me. Listen, I did care about him, but you didn't know him. I mean, just ask anybody. You mention Chance's name, and they all have some bad story about him. And you still stay with him? I gotta go back to work now. Mm. It's great seeing you. must be playing tricks on me. <laughs> I hate to sound like a walk and talk and cliche, but uh, I thought you was dead. Oh. A lot of confidence in me, huh? What are you drinking? I'll take a double vodka. Old habits die hard. His name is Desmond Packard. Packard, huh? Yeah. He's Augustino Finadere's kid. Yeah, he was the bastard of some broad Finn knocked up, apparently. He still goes by her last name. Now, since she passed, I guess the kid wanted to go work with his daddy. And you know, Finn, he's always looking for a loyal helping hand, so he agreed. 
And he showed him the ropes like only he could. And the cards? He runs a card game once a week. The house always wins. Can you help me find them? <sighs> he hangs out at the Razor Room every Thursday night. Should hold club over on the west side. You're not thinking of walking in there like you're Dirty Harry or something, are you, Frank Wilson? Because with your reputation, it would be silly of me to think you wouldn't, right? I'm not a cop anymore. Once a cop, always a cop. Other numbers, man. How you doing, son? Good, Bob. All right. Can I have the usual? Yes, sir. Give me a minute, bro. What's on your mind, Dad? I was thinking about the family. I was hoping you could kind of open up to me and talk to me. I don't like to really talk too much about myself, but it seems like I've done as much as I possibly can for you. You know I love you, son. And I would step in front of a motherfucking bullet if I had to. But I can't really teach you if you don't listen. I do listen. Rather than being stupid and arrogant and thinking you're smarter than everybody else, I wanted to try to beg you one last time to act right. <laughs> I've always given you respect, Dad. Well, we just have sort of a different way of looking at life. <laughs> so I'm gonna say this one more time. I would really, really highly consider getting rid of your criminal friends, treating people the way you want to be treated, bring something good into this life. Because we're at the crossroads now, and if you make the wrong decisions, you're going to fuck up the rest of your family. You could end your own life. I've done nothing wrong, Dad. You got something to say to me? No, sir. I got nothing to say. You got nothing? No. Not a thing. Anything in particular you're looking for? Desmond. Packard. You need anything? Yeah, yeah. Pop wants a word. Who the fuck are you? Desmond Packard. One and only, baby. You got a problem? No. You got a minute? Talk. Well, 
a little bit loud in here for my old ears, so. You don't need cops here. Thank you, Terrence. Let's go. Have fun, Daddy's got to work. Stay. You ain't from around her, are you? So what the fuck you want to talk about? I think you know my son Chance. No. Doesn't ring a bell. It's weird, because, um... I found his phone, and... the last number that was called was... some dude named... Desmond. A lot of people got my number. Huh? Missed the popularity, huh? Yeah. Huh? Kind of a big deal. Hey, Mr. Popular. You kill my son. I don't know where you're from. But you should scurry back there as quickly as possible. Huh? And right now, you're in my city. There's a... Good possibility you're gonna get hurt. Or even killed. Oh, motherfucker! Thanks for the gun. Fuck you, man! Fuck you! not a cop anymore. You can't keep running around here acting like one. Just pull the fucking ballistics, please. Why'd you quit the force? Hmm. The better question is, why did I join in the first place? And the answer to that is, I have no fucking idea. Check for ballistics. I was wondering, you get your ass kicked lately? Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm afraid to even ask how he got it. And don't. The guy used to be a cop. He asked me to run ballistics on it. Give me. Huh? Not so fast. I Man, I could just turn it in. Evidence alone will get you 30 years. If I was you, I'd just get rid of it before someone else shows up and takes it from you. Anything else, detective? Yeah. I got a feeling this guy's not gonna rest until he gets justice for his son. Yeah, whatever. Me and the boys will take care of him. But then you and the boys might need to know where he's staying. I fucking hate cops. kid is in a lot of trouble. You sure about that? He killed the son of a cop. Really? 
Let me talk to my people now. Get right back to you here. Later, go. said the other day after you whipped my ass. A story you might be interested in. Is that some strip bar with a girl named Charlotte? Yeah, she was looking to buy some weight. A lot of it. Hey, man. Hey, we square, man? The fuck? Mr. Wilson? Uh, how do you know where my parents live? Oh, that is that hard. Nice place. You got a minute? What did you want to talk about, Mr. Wilson? You took that money. I didn't mean to. I love Chance. Well. The greed. <laughs> Got him killed. I, I didn't mean for this to happen. I just... You know what it's like. I just wanted to get out of here. I just wanted to leave this place and everything. Forever. And I was waiting for things to settle down, but... Chance didn't want to leave. He was never going to leave this place. <laughs> Not even for me. That's all I need to hear. Wait, please. You have to believe me. I did love him. You loved him? I loved him. Mistakes. God knows we all have tough part. You have to live with it. Forever. I suggest you leave town because if I found you, I wonder who else will. Good luck, Charlie. face. It's not like I'm dumb enough to fucking not know. I tried to get you to come clean. How was I supposed to know? He's just some junky kid. He's just a nobody. Who the fuck you think you are? Making judgments on who should live and who should die. Everybody's somebody. I know Chance's father, Frank Wilson. 
I know him real well. He's the dirtiest fucking cop I ever knew, and he was the dirtiest cop they had on the force. Now, I might have to figure out how to deal with this because he's the kind of guy where either he gonna have to die or we gonna have to die. And I'm not fitting to die for this. We'll take care of it. We know where he's staying. Put a bullet in his fucking head. You gonna take care of it for me? Yeah. I feel like I'm talking to a retarded child. Don't do nothing. He took my gun. Did this to my face. What do you want me to do? I need time to think about this. You don't do nothing. Don't do fucking nothing. So let's get the hell out of here. Well, we gotta get a fucking clue to find out where this guy is. He's hunting me in my own fucking city. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Stop by, check on you. Make sure you're all right. Oh. Courtesy check. Fuck, wouldn't I be all right? Well, I heard about the incident. The incident? The incident with the car? Oh, yeah, some sirens, some shit like that. What happened? Well, it was right out front. His car on fire. Huh? Shit. Guess that's why they call it theme park for outlaws, right? Right. Get those test results back yet? Test results? Listex, detective. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, that, that takes a while. Yeah. It backed up and everything. But you'll be the first to know. You're not going anywhere, are you? I'm gonna head home. Really? Oh, there's not shit here for me, is there? Right. Give me a call in a couple days for those test results.
also I spoke with the Special Investigation Division. Oh, thank you so much. And you were right. They have no record of the bullet or the gun that you gave Mintz. I mean, what the hell does Mintz have to do with this? W what are you going to do? I need the ship. You know, home. What? Look, they already came after me once. They're probably going to come after me again. Now, if I'm at my house, that's self-defense.
fucking sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, man. Let's get out of here. Come on. I want to know that motherfucker's dead. <sighs> He's dead. I killed him. I had a boy get in the fucking right. truck. Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> Detective months, I'm with the police department. Oh, Ashley Millette. Yeah, I'm in charge of the investigation involving Mr. Wilson's son. What can we do for you, Detective? Well, I heard he was injured. I figured I'd come by and ask him a few questions. Does he look like he's in the place to answer goddamn questions to you? You guys see anything? No. I heard a uh, shotgun blast. Had somebody help me drag him out the water and call 911. We flew him here. This goddamn place. Middle of the city. Last place he'd want to die on the globe if he had its choice. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to do this? Oh, I thought that was your department, detective. Of course, it could have been anybody these days. The world's going to hell in a handbasket. Right. Well, um, you have a way I can get in touch with you? Yeah. There you go. Have Mr. Wilson give me a call as soon as he wakes up. Okay, will do. I don't like that fella. So, he's still breathing. Barely. He's with that fucking swamp rat of his. He said he didn't get a good look at you, but he's obviously lying. And they're not alone. Ashley Millett, attorney of law. So who's this bitch? Seems like your problems keep multiplying with water, Gizmo. Gizmo? Gremlins, it's a fucking movie. Watch it. It's a classic. You want to talk to me? I'm tired. I'm telling you over and over and over again the same motherfucking thing. And to break my heart, boy, to have to talk to you like this, you're a grown man. What happened to you, boy? You treat us all like this. You put us all in harm's way. And you cross the line. If you had a soul, I feel like it's unretrievable. You lost that the day you killed that boy. I don't mind if you had to kill somebody. But not like that. At least I do my own killing. You're no longer my son. Hey, you were never a real father. He's posed like one. You're going to go on up the road now. I did the best I could. To be what you wanted. You could have fooled me. It's never good enough. Not for you. 
precious little time, son. People are coming for you. And I don't want to watch you die. If he's coming for me, I'm going to kill him first. Get on up the road, boy. You got it. Watch your back. The old man doesn't have what it takes to run the business anymore. I need you to talk to your supplier. Find out if they're good with a new boss. You got it, boss. I'm serious, you go. You have work to do. Those fish ain't gonna catch themselves. You sure? I'm sure. You've done enough already. You're a good friend, sweetie. Well, uh, if he comes to his senses and you need anything, you call me. And I do mean anything. All right? Okay, I will. I'll take good care of him. I need you to do something for me. Desmond and I have a little something in each shipment we need you to send over. Not a word to the boss. Don't even talk about this conversation with Desmond, you understand? <laughs> if the price is right, I do. Just you and me, yeah? We got it? You like money? Who doesn't? <laughs> the price will be right. Deal? Deal. All right. You want something, boy? Boo. I gotta say, I'm impressed. I never thought two old hillbillies would be so hard to snuff. <laughs> you hurt one of us, you fight all of us. That's what family does. Wow. Ain't that some heroic shit? Oh, no, thank you. <clears throat> what, you worried it's gonna kill you? I was born dying. We all were. I've been waiting all my life. You just gave me a reason. That is a depressing outlook, old man. No, not if you use it to make the most of the time you've got. Is that what you've been doing? Out here? In this shit shack? I wouldn't expect your city ass to understand. <laughs> the woman. Who is she? What does she know? Just an old friend of Frank's. She ain't involved in this. How about you? You talk to the cops? People out here, we don't talk to no police. If there's a problem, we, we settle it ourselves. Hmm, sort of a tradition. Mm -hmm. You know, I got some traditions of my own I can show you. You're gonna shoot me? 
or bore me to death. I got family up there waiting on me, up there where I'm going to go. So I don't need to listen to a little boy trying to sound like a man when he's just a piece of shit wrapped in human skin. Yeah, I'm at the bar. Drinking on the job, detective? You know an officer that doesn't? We work in one of the toughest cities in the country. Oh, it ain't no Chicago. I'm surprised you boys haven't taken care of this guy yet. Yeah, look, you know what you do when you get an itch, right? Scratch it? You rub it out. Considered a donation from Tino Finadare and Desmond Packard. Get it done. Piece of shit. You'd like another? Just give me the bottle. No, just, just give me the bottle. The, the bottle, the bottle. I'll take the bottle. With you just wanting some answers. He's all head left, Ash. You have to stop blaming yourself for everything, Frank. Even Swilly would tell you that. Swilly's not here to tell me anything anymore, is he? And I'll stop blaming myself. And I'll stop being the cause. Detective Muntz? Yes. I'm looking for Mr. Wilson. 
I heard he was released from the hospital and I had those ballistics results he was asking about. And so what did it say? I can't give up any more information over the phone. But, um, have you seen him? Or maybe you know where he's at? It's your lucky day. I'm right here. Frank? Listen. Yeah, I got those ballistics results. I can be by chance department in a couple of hours. Why don't you meet me there? I'll see you then. DA's office will leave your son's name out of the report for the robbery, but they need something on Augustino Finadere. It's the only way. Yeah. What? Just be careful. Wish you the best, okay? off one of your boys who tried to kill me at the hospital. What are you, a fucking saint? Well, that's so goddamn righteous. Motherfucker, I've never been called that. Yeah. I've corrupted evidence. Lied. Killed motherfuckers. Because I knew they were guilty. And I did all that to make sure I got the job done right. This ends tonight. You, Desmond, Finn, all going down one way or another. Forty-eight fucking thousand dollars a year. That's what they think my life is worth. I happen to think it's worth a little more. Now I need you to do something for me. Desmond and I have a little something in each shipment we need you to send over. Not a word to the boss. Don't even talk about this conversation with Desmond, you understand? If the price is right, I do. Just you and me, yeah? We got it? You like money? Who doesn't? The price will be right. Deal? Deal. What the fuck is this? Your boss. You've been running around behind my back with my boy. What are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. Don't say a motherfucking word to me. These the same gangsters that you pulled off the highest with, where the money disappeared, and then y'all kill Chance? Y'all want to be a gangster? That's part of the life, bitch.
by the way. Look at me. Put you there. 